Hi guys, I get tons of questions about which retinol or vitamin A or retinol dehyde should you get from osmosis skincare. So the main reason I decided to brought osmosis to my clinic eight years ago now, it's crazy, was because of the quality of their retinol dehyde and how potent they were and how they're mastering that amazing formula. So if you're not aware of it, um, Osmosis, the product right there, their line of vitamin A is definitely why I think that line is so special. And there's different type of retinol or vitamin A on the market, um, retinoid, that would be the one that more like prescription uh, based that you would need a prescription to have. Um, usually it would be like an advanced anti-aging or mostly um, acne. Then you have your retinol. Um, again, retinol, they have different one. I mean, you can get some at the drugstore, which I don't recommend, or you can have still good retinol from maybe a, a medical grade skincare line like Vivier, Skin Medica, and um, SkinCertical. I think they have like really good uh, retinol in general. And then you have the retinol dehyde, which I really like that form of vitamin A because it's actually really, really potent. But the thing is with retinol dehyde, it's really unstable. So it's not a whole lot of skincare line out there that have been able to um, put the retinol dehyde in the formula uh, that will actually keep the ingredient active until they get um, in your skin and you don't want the product to just sit on the surface of your skin you want them to actually go uh, at your really deep derm level okay so and that's why their delivery system with their patent um, is really great and they created amazing retinol dehyde um, version of vitamin A and so why would you like to have a retinol dehyde so the main benefit is you get all the benefit of a retinol without any inflammation. And that's maybe the biggest problem from your typical retinol. It may cause some um, inflammation or a sensitivity, uh, redness. And if you already have a sensitive skin, um, I definitely don't recommend a strong level of retinol or retinaldehyde. And then Another thing is retinol dehyde and retinol uh, may increase your sensitivity to the sun, which retinol dehyde from osmosis don't. And I think it's great. It can also be used directly on the skin around your eyes, which a retinol is a big no-no, right? And it's a form of vitamin A that you can use every day versus retinol. I strongly don't recommend and retinoid should probably be um, only once a week at max and you get a lot of side effect from it. So they have four different level of retinol dehyde osmosis. The first one would be Calm. So Calm is a form of vitamin A, but it have a lower percentage and it's been designed for people that already have a lot of inflammation or just have a really sensitive skin in general and, or um, rosacea even. So that would be the perfect vitamin A for those people. Even sometimes before suggesting Calm, I will love combining it with Osmosis Rescue because Rescue will really repair the epidermal level of your skin and it will help the product absorb uh, better and just calm the inflammation in general. So first I would go with Rescue, but then, then Calm, uh, adding to your skincare routine will really speed up your skin cell turnover, calm inflammation, and just help with redness in general. So I do love Calm from Osmosis for my rosacea uh, client. Then you would have the product name Correct. So Osmosis Correct is a little higher percentage of retinol dehyde. Uh, it's the, the product I would suggest for people um, maybe that want to prevent aging, for people that have um, hyperpigmentation, melasma. Um, it, a little bit more aggressive. I would not use it on my really sensitive skin. Sometimes I do suggest it for some people that have uh, acne prone skin. I think it's really a good uh, type of vitamin A. It just speed up your skin cell turnover, prevent aging, fine line wrinkle, but it's more at the prevention level and hyperpigmentation also. That's, that would be osmosis correct. 
Then you have osmosis clarify. So clarify would be for my people that maybe have acne, active acne, acne prone skin. Um, I love clarify. I think it's one of our number one seller here at Sparkle. It's a great product. So if you have that acne prone skin and you're more on the sensitive side, I would definitely recommend Osmosis Clarify. For some clients that maybe have like a thicker skin, more mature skin, uh, that are not really sensitive, but they're more acne prone, sometimes I will recommend just your typical um, retinol, or maybe I will suggest to have your retinol once a week and then have your Clarify the other, um, the other days of the week. So that could be also an option, but really good product Clarify. Then you have your osmosis renew. That's your highest level or percentage of uh, retinaldehyde by osmosis. And that would be really for my aging skin, um, older, um, that are not extremely sensitive, your normal skin. Um, but maybe I, it would be sensitive enough so I don't, I would not recommend your retinol. Um, yeah, renew, or maybe because I'm not using retinol every day, Every day I would use the Renew in between. So I think they, they pair really, really well. So Renew is the highest percentage and that, that's the one I would recommend to really reverse aging, fine line, wrinkle. Um, maybe if I really want to treat a condition, I just, I don't want to maintain it or prevent. I really want to see results. Uh, definitely Osmosis Rescue. So all, os all osmosis products come in um, a pump like this one. It's a 30 ml uh, pump. Um, I do recommend getting the Boost um, Hydration um, Activating Mist, I'm sorry. It will really help the product absorb better in your skin and it will make your product last a little bit longer because you won't need as much. So all those vitamin A serum or retinaldehyde from osmosis should be paired with um, osmosis boost. You just spray a little bit and then you would mix a product and apply in your skin. I would definitely uh, recommend that. And the boost can be used uh, during your day as just a hydration mist. Also, it can be um, added to your uh, Catalyst AC11, that's probably like the most popular because it can be quite tacky. I don't find their retinaldehyde uh, really tacky. Renew is a little bit though, um, but Catalyst is. So I, for those two, I think you should definitely add booze into the mix. But yeah, so that's kind of, I hope this helped understand a little bit better um, which uh, retinaldehyde serum that you should be getting from osmosis. If you do have question about it, please comment below or even book a consultation with me or one of the medical esthetician here. We'll be more than happy to answer all your question around all the osmosis product or any product in general, and then we can really give you good recommendations. So I'll put a couple link in the description below and have a beautiful day. So bye-bye.